Okay, this is part two of the Maytag transmission. And uh, I'm going to uh, fix the uh, unit. When I left, I had parts on order. And the parts I needed to get were two things. The actual part that failed this is a Maytag Atlantis gear. And let me make sure you can see the numbers. And I actually found, I forget where I found it, but I got it on uh, order, it was online. And uh, I'm gonna open it up. And uh, this is the gear that failed, and I'll show it to you in just a minute. The gear is down in here. I put the top half and bottom half together bottom top excuse me sorry for that uh, I'm coming I'm done with the, the flu the corona or COVID or whatever it is uh, but I needed to also get because I messed up some left left-handed screws fortunately when I snapped this one off going the wrong way I could get a uh, I don't know if you can see this very well but I could I drilled it out I backed it out so that was goodness. So that's what I have. And I'm going to take this uh, apart so you can kind of see it. I put it back together again so I'd know what I'd have. Uh, let me see if I can get this top half off. Let me make sure you can see kind of what I'm doing. Yeah, you can. And uh, it's a nice mild day here in Alabama. We'll set this here. This come off. Yeah, this is coming off. Okay. And that's there. And this is off. And I wanted this so I could show you how this uh, basically looks and sits. And this is from memory. It, uh, let me, let me look. Well, I'm going to have to think for a bit. Let me, uh, do that. But in essence, one thing I will do is let me pull this one gear off here so you can see this. Another gear, and this arm comes right off this other gear right here then there's two other gears that sit uh, here oh boy how do I want to do this set this here this here this here and this here okay and this is the gear that was bad and I'll show you some more pictures but or more, I'll take more video of it. But here are the two gears. And if you take a look, what happened over the 14 years is that these gears just simply uh, failed. Okay, I mean, that's all that was wrong with this. It held together for 14 years of abuse and everything else and no oil changes, no nothing. And then she finally gave way. And I almost bet it's designed to be that way. I'm almost bet it's designed to be that way to have failed. So let me set these down. Remember, these are screws work backwards. So to screw them in, you rotate them uh, counterclockwise. To screw them out, you spin them clockwise. And it's the other way for a regular one. You would turn it clockwise to go down. So let me uh, get a rag. <clears throat> this and looking down you can see as I uh, try and zoom in okay you see there's four rises that are here in the back of this gear 
has uh, four pieces where this sits on and you got to squeeze it to get it to sit down in there and then it sits and then the gear spins okay just like that all right I'm gonna stop the video for a second and be right back <laughs> okay very good so I listen to the radio uh, okay this piece here has is a little larger than the new piece that I had I have it uh, sitting down and correctly now what I had to use is it sat down on there and harshly engaged but using a uh, using my hammer brass hammer and a piece of wood I gently tapped it so it sat down and now it, it, it it's correct there are two lines on here okay there were two here and I'm lining up all the gears I don't have a book I don't know if it's right but it seems to me simply to make sense okay so I got a line the line the line got a gear and a gear that's there and now coming in here something else to notice let me see if I can turn the camera around uh, now can't stay new forever okay this fits in just one of the three holes okay looking here on this gear I see another arrow so there's an arrow here I wonder where this may or may not be pointing to I see an arrow right here so I'm gonna line up uh, that arrow with this arrow there's two that are right here that you may be able to see this is a big one that sits here okay then using that same logic I see an arrow here an arrow here and the big one goes here okay so okay I hope that's not backwards I can't tell it shouldn't be I'm looking at the screen in front uh, okay I managed to figure out how to put it together I was relatively uh, close so let me show you when you go to install it uh, this portion was in there and now it's in here okay so let me take this out and put it back where I got it from it sits inside that st the steel bracket here uh, these arms rest on the two uh, great they rest on the uh, these pieces here and everything has to align and it was a second ago it still is all the marks go let me let me uh, show you the marks and let me take off this glove okay all right the glove is off I got tired of washing my hands uh, okay but here's here's one mark there there's one mark there there's a mark here across from here and across from here and I gotta come here and turn the screen around so I can see and make sure I can show you close up okay. you should have some of these are painted blue but you can see right there where there's a connection once I move my hand and there's four of them and it all lines up these these armatures line up here as they go back and forth and brush so I'm gonna want the oil level to be at least that high when I fill it uh, all up so with that I'm going to use a left-handed screw and uh, tighten down this pulley that was replaced and again the reason this failed is after so many years that pulley wore out and it really is cool when you see it and you get the ah! sound because it was going across here and there and the pulley just simply wasn't engaged the gear so that's that okay I'm failing as a film man here 
I did tighten this down using a small impact and being very light on it. And to tighten it up, notice the direction it goes. It goes to be coming out. That's the left-handed screw and the one I'm using here is uh, this part number. And it's small, approximately the same size as the one that was there. There's also this piece, which is the same thing, except it has a uh, hex, hex head driver. I chose the both just in case. You know, when you order parts for the extra dollar, it uh, makes sense. And with inflation, it makes even more sense because those will be worth twice as much tomorrow. Okay, that is it. So I'm going to start putting the uh, rest of this uh, together. So let me uh, rearrange you. I'll be editing a lot of this out. I gotta move stuff around, set it. Had it spinning the wrong way because the other. This is a pre-fit. That's not right. <laughs> Very good. This part here I missed. Okay. I'm going to set this so it doesn't fall on my footsie. This is the plate I've glued uh, RTV this in place. That sits right down nicely on top of this and Okay, I'll set this here like so. This is all just pre-fitting. Okay, that's the direction of rotation. All right. Let me get back on. <laughs> okay. I need to look and see exactly how this works because it's a I'm not quite certain. Let me stop this for a second. I hope you'll be able to see it all spin. But uh, I lined all the points, got it to sit down, and now as it rotates, as I hold this steady, spinning the bottom, holding the clutch gear, you can see the uh, shaft rotating. Except I'm weak all of a sudden.
there I can see it plainly so that's it that's how we want it okay with that got it set on there everything was aligned it spins the upper gear will move now what I want to do or need to do is to put in gear oil and I have a cold not a cold I caught COVID in COVID I hope I edit that out, but anyway, <laughs> this COVID has destroyed my, I've lost my ability to smell. And that's really making me a little crazy in the sense I can't smell gear oil and I know it stinks. Other chemicals I use that I'm worried about because I can't tell just how much or good or bad. Okay, I'm going to be using Lucas Gear Oil 7590. I have no idea what it came with. It smelled like 90. And I actually have Arch Oil AR9100 in it as well. Excuse me. Edit, edit, edit. What the gear oil is and shows is... Uh, It, uh, it's regular gear oil. You can see this is much cleaner than what came out. It's a detergent oil. This said, what did I say it said? It said a uh, synthetic 70 to 90. So I'm going to fill this up with this oil. See how high that is. Will I have enough? And the answer is no. Close. It's covering most of the gears, but not all. It'll sloth around, slosh around. Let me see if I have any more gear oil. For the record, I topped it off with some old, not old, uh, Polaris. RTV gear oil that came out blue. The original color was light, so if I ever take this apart, it's going to be black and dark again, but it was that way anyway. So with that being said, here's the uh, next operation. And I won't film too much of it because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to clamp it and figure out exactly how I'm going to hold it. But what I need to do is find a mark. Like that. <clears throat> so, step one is going to be clamp it down and I'm not going to show you this in a couple spots but right here on both of these spots where there's a flat area and then bend each of these tabs back under okay all right I have a clamp here welding clamp another clamp here I'm gonna start going around and uh, bending all these uh, back in place. I don't know if I'll be able to catch much of this on film or how well it's going to go, but I'll give it a work as soon as I get a pair of channel locks. All right, I'm gonna have to leave this as it is. I got some of them done. I'm not gonna try and do the others. It shouldn't go anywhere. 
I uh, need to get uh, the right uh, wrench and uh, I don't have the right pliers. I don't have what I need here and I can't get, I'm not going to get frustrated with it. it for the, this goes on the bottom. For the most part it's worked well, it's full, it's secure. I'll bend the rest of these uh, down and close these right so I can tap it and I'm going to put it on here and tap it with the hammer but I need to first uh, well, I'll tap it from b below, but I need to get uh, these bent in the right pair of pliers. And I'm not going to be able to do that for a while. So I'm going to put up my tools for the day and uh, call it good. I thank you, uh, you know, for watching. This is the last video. If you want to go through the first one and this one, you'll see how to put uh, one of these uh, together. This is going to find its way to the farm and sit in the corner on a garage for a long time to come until my unit fails again, if it fails. If it's another 14 years, well, this most likely will find its way to somebody else. I thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day.